Kelly Lloyd was on a mission. It was her goal to help her team bring the World Cup trophy to the United States for the first time in 16 years. Japan stood in her way, but it never stood a chance as the Americans' number 10 stung quickly and often to guide the United States to a record third Women's World Cup. The United States 5-2 victory Sunday over the defending champion in Vancouver, British Columbia, gave the Americans their first opportunity to lift the World Cup trophy since 1999. Lloyd scored the first hat-trick in a women's final to lead the United States, which also won the World Cup in 1991. I called her my beast, the United States coach Jill Ellis told Fox Sports. She's unbelievable. She's a rock star. Lloyd indeed was the star of Star Sunday, and throughout the tournament. On Sunday she scored in the 3rd, 5th and 16th minutes of play, leaving the 1991 champion stunned. For her play, Lloyd was awarded the Golden Ball, signifying she was the best player at the World Cup. She also tied for most goals, 6, in the tournament with Celia Sasek of 4th place Germany. Lauren Holiday and Tobin Heath had the other goals for the United States. Japan's Yuki Ojimi scored in the 27th minute, and Japan netted another goal when the United States played the ball into its own net in the 52nd minute. The United States had seven shots on goal, while Japan had four. The United States goalkeeper Hope Solo, voted the tournament's best at her position, had three saves, while Japan goalkeeper Ayumi Kaihori had two. The Americans' victory avenges their penalty kick shootout defeat in 2011 to Japan. In that match, the United States had a 1-0 lead but Japan scored 9 minutes from the end of regulation. The United States had a 2-1 lead in extra time, but Japan's Homer Sawa scored one of the greatest goals in soccer history just 3 minutes from time. Japan won the penalty kick shootout 3-1 as the United States missed its first three attempts. The United States got a taste of revenge in 2012 at the London Olympics.